if more global warming, if even two degrees Celsius, then more costing, more cost we have to pay, and we, our GDP growth rate will be slowed down further. So if we don't correlate all these things with the sustainable development, we cannot achieve the sustainable development goal. Indigenous knowledge that we have gathered over the last couple of decades and centuries, the people in the coastal areas of Bangladesh, in fighting the challenges arising from the climate change and in times of necessary life cyclone, etc., we're going to share all this knowledge. We have already started fishing in Nepal. Because of the climate change, the consequences, uh, the displacement of the communities, and the ultimate uh, depository is the cities. Our cities are, you know, it's quite complex, and uh, we are not be able to catch up the planning of the city better. Also, in Nepal, uh, the present government has opened a new ministry of uh, city development to address because there is so much of migration to the city for last uh, few years or even a decade. Pulling together the, the, the concept of adaptive and, and resilience, you know, we should be able to, to incorporate to the discussion both the, the private sector and, and, and I would say, academy and, and others that have been uh, more interested in other topics. The reason for coming together is vulnerability the reason for sticking together and going forward is not just the problem, but the solution to the problem. And as you've heard from the ministers speaking here, they are all moving ahead in various ways to the solution. In the end, what we are looking for is for the Climate Vulnerable Forum to be less known as the vulnerable countries, but more known as the adaptive countries. So maybe the climate adaptive countries might be uh, a potential uh, renaming or rebranding. Or in the context of the Rio Plus 20 discussions, going beyond adaptation to climate change to greening the economy, more sustainable development and a broad range of issues, not just on adapting to the impacts of climate change. I represent something called Climate and Development Knowledge Network. Here the word development is crucial and I think what we, what I'd like to point out, we advocate something which is called Climate Compatible Development, which is something that would uh, mean longer term development planning which integrates climate smart approaches. Another thing that you all probably already some, some of you mentioned is engage the international finance institutions to your dialogue because you will need catalytic funds to support the initiatives that you have already started. This framework is called, its, it's, it's subtitle is Building the Resilience of Nations and Communities to Disasters and you might want to build this resilience beyond the disasters. My thoughts when I listen to you one is evidence, as was mentioned here, um, evidence not only on the extreme impact, but also evidence on what different policy decisions and let's say boldness of the, of the, of the developers of the world mean. It's much more economically viable and humanly um, uh, desirable to start to, it, to actually uh, plan and drive a city towards a more resilient uh, context before it's too late, before it's done. And, and somebody talked today about a slogan. We all know the slogan from even 72 and 92, which was think globally, act local. So maybe we, and your forum can also turn it around. You think local and act global because some of the problems cannot be actually acted on only locally. So that's, thank you. What she has said, that to make this forum an action-oriented forum, not a talking shop. Because we have many forums, and in these forums we are talking a lot, but action is too late. The objective of launching this forum, the objective of this forum is not to negotiate only in the international forum. That is one objective, not to demand on behalf of those countries which are member of this forum, but also to increase the resilience capacity of this forum by exchanging the views, by exchanging the technologies and etc.